I would say one of the most frustrating parts about learning to land is getting comfortable at one airport and then going to another one and all of a sudden you feel like you're starting over. And one of the biggest challenges you learn to overcome as a pilot when landing is the runway width illusion. And you may not necessarily recognize the illusion, but I can guarantee that you have felt the effects when you're landing on a runway that's either wider or narrower than what you're used to. So when you land on a runway that is wider than what you're used to, you tend to feel closer to the ground. And that means that you typically start your flare a little too high. On the other hand, when the runway is narrower than what you're used to, you have the opposite situation. You feel farther away from the ground, so you tend to start your flare a little bit too low. And one of the easiest things that you can do to help, number one, keep yourself on a stable and predictable glide path is to follow a VASI or a PAPI. But the other thing that you can do to help you really estimate that flare height is to use that runway zoom effect in your peripheral vision. As the runway starts to balloon out in your peripheral vision, that gives you a cue to start that round outer flare. 